hi there so what we're going to be doing today is uh, we're going to be doing some infographics uh, so we're going to just start off with a really easy one for today because um, I'll, I'll make some future videos on infographics uh, so basically infographics are just like um, ways of showing information in a graphic form but um, uh, which let's just get started with something really simple so uh, you, you can use infographics this infographic for um, steps example targets goals um, things like that right uh, so what you want to do first is we got, want to open up a new PowerPoint presentation go to layout again and go blank so we've just got a blank presentation again we're going to use some shapes uh, from the insert tab and we're, we're, you can go to shapes here or you can, I've got the home uh, tab here in the, in the shapes are here so we're going to use a rectangle Up. And you can choose your own color, color scheme for infographics. Uh, I'm using a color scheme that I like. It's like a gradient from like orange to like purple. Um, so what I've just done there is that I've created this small rectangle at the side there, which is going to be the color at the back. It just gives it more of a graphic feel. This is going to be where the text is going to sit, and we're going to make the shape a gray, like a really light gray, and no fill. No, sorry, no outline. No outline for this one either, but we're going to make the shape. So we're going to go to more fill colors, but you can you can just find your own hex color or whatever which you can put in here, or just use one of the colors, the standard colors. And I'm just going to take a color that's like really quite dark purple, uh, like almost like that. I think that's a good color. Yeah, that's a good color. And we're just going to take that color. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a one by one circle. So you'll see it snaps to the, the middle snaps to the side of the rectangle and the middle of the rectangle, right? Um, that's one really handy feature of PowerPoint that I like to use that it snaps quite easily to the line. We're going to put no shape outline and we're going to make the shape fill of what we just filled it with. So it's going to be there already. It's going to be increasing colours. And then we can make it smaller by holding shift and control so that it stays snapped to the side of the rectangle. And then you just do it as far as you want, I think, like you go a bit smaller. That's good. Um, now let's insert this um, block arc, and we're gonna just click wherever, and it's gonna give us a one by one block arc. Let's just rotate it 90 degrees, anti-clockwise, and we're gonna um, snap it to the to the um, side of the, the rectangle. Um, now let's hold Shift and Control again, and we're just gonna make it a bit bigger. Now there's this, you see, let me just zoom in, and you'll see that there's this orange um, dot here. This, this gives us control over like the, the length of it, block of the arc, and like the thickness and things. We're going to make a thickness of around here, you just choose whatever. Um, I'm just trying to make equal thickness in this white area here and the thickness of the arc. Since we're going to, well, let's just take away the shape outline so we know how, how thick it's going to be. And let's just move a bit to the... Right. Uh, now let's just send this to the back so that it's behind the, the rectangle and it's got a straight, um, like a straight edge. And we're going to make the shape from that shape fill again, that purple colour. Uh, we're going to just make a text box and let's just, I'm just going to write step one. You just put whatever you want. Um, and we're going to make the, the font area black. Size a bit up, and we've got a, our first step here. For example, let's let's just say this is uh, I don't know. Let's say the step one of making a good PowerPoint is to start with an idea. For example, so let's just go insert and go icons, and you just put whatever step you are doing. Let's say I don't know. I don't know but I'm doing idea, so I'm just going to put idea in, right? And it's going to come up with a few um, icons that you. Whatever you want, I'm going to choose this one here, and I'm going to change the graphics fill to white. Can't see it right now, but let's just put it over here. Let's hold Shift and just make it a bit smaller, and let's snap it there. Um, now let's hold con uh, Shift and Control, and we can just make it a bit smaller. That's a nice size. Um, now let's just highlight everything we've done here, and just hold Control, and we're just going to move it down to 
about here, right? You just do whatever. But I think I think it's a little bit of spaces quite nice. Now we're going to go, go Control Y, which is to repeat what I've just done, and you can just uh, copy it as much as you want. I've, I'm just doing four steps. Right? And we can just move that slightly down. Steps to two, three, four, whatever you're putting there. Now for the icon, we can go to graphics format and change the graphic to, from icons. So let's say the next step was, I don't know, to add in some icons. Go to icon. Alright, and then you can choose whatever. These ones aren't very good, so uh, I'm just going to input some generic icon. Let's choose. icons actually give it a, a more um, like graphic feel. And it just gives us um, a more, like it just, when you have icons, it gives you a lot more, a lot more um, like visual materials that you can use really easily with stock icons. Um, so, this infographic here is a really simple one, um, and remember you can do a lot more complex ones, but, but uh, and remember you, I'm just going to change the colour while, uh, while I'm speaking um, to this orange. Yeah. So, um, if you are actually, uh, this is just a bit of marketing for my, for my own sake, but like, just, just um, if you ever needed like a PowerPoint presentation, or like a, um, like a, um, almost like a, graphics or whatever um, feel free to contact me um, I've got um, a Fiverr account on fiverr.com slash alex underscore champ um, which you can find uh, just on, on google um, and I'll be happy to do it in case you um, have needed anything just also remember uh, please like and subscribe on this video that will really help us out and uh, comment and share as well um, right let's You can just play around with it, but until you find something good. Um, now, I think in the preview you would have seen that I I, I did like a, a made a nice um, a nice slide background almost with like some triangles inside. I'll show you how to do this really easily. So we're going to just choose a, 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 rec, a tr sorry a triangle to make this um, to the bottom snap to the bottom. Make this a bit longer on the side. Let's just move this up a bit, right? going to go to the um, format tab by going design format background and just clicking the shape um, and then we're going to make the color black transparency let's make it I don't know, 80% right uh, we're going to make no no line for the uh, outline and let's just co co copy that let's just go control y so that we've got a few let's just pick the first one we're going to align that again with the, with the side and we're going to make that a bit longer side Stuff. And this is literally a really simple infographic, um, uh, 
uh, stick around for the for the next infographic tutorial. Um, and if you haven't watched my other tutorials, just check it out on, on the Two Trans Teach channel. Uh, as I said before, if you haven't already, please subscribe and um, share, comment, and like this video. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you found that helpful.